Thanks for joining us for another episode of Capital City News, your connection to Salt Lake City government. On this week's episode, we hear from Kathy Rigby with the city's Housing and Neighborhood Development Division about some home programs for home buyers as well as existing homeowners. And our History Minute is about the legendary baseball player Tony Lazeri. Let's get started with our legislative update and look back. At its September 4th meeting, the City Council held its second fact-finding session about the Inland Port. The Council will hold its third session September 11th and a public hearing on September 18th. The Council also adopted an ordinance to preserve vintage signs while also balancing its impacts to neighborhoods. September is Idle Free Awareness Month, and as an Idle Free City, SLC reminds you to turn off your engine while waiting. Remember, just 10 seconds of idling uses more fuel than restarting your engine. Help clear the air today. Turn the key, be idle free. For details, visit slc.gov sustainability. Parking in SLC? Steer clear from getting a ticket. Here's four things to remember. One, we have a 48-hour parking ordinance. Vehicles, boats, trailers, and motorhomes should not be on city streets for storage for more than 48 hours. Two, you can't park a vehicle with expired registration on the street. Three, if you live in an area with residential parking permits, be sure to have your permit in the right place, the bottom left corner of your windshield on the driver's side. Four, don't park at meters with red bags on them. To learn more, visit slc.gov slash mystreet slash parking. Purchasing a home that's affordable or even making repairs on an already existing home can seem daunting. Salt Lake City has some helpful programs. Housing and Rehabilitation Loan Officer Kathy Rigby has details. Well, I'm Kathy Rigby. I'm the Loan Officer for Salt Lake City HAND, Housing and Neighborhood Development. So basically what I do is I accept applications for people wanting to participate in one of our home programs. We have several home programs for home buyers and then also programs for existing home owners that want to do repairs to their homes. Salt Lake City has four programs right now that we are wanting folks to know about, so give them an opportunity to live and work in Salt Lake City. And those are, we have an opportunity to buy a home and buy one of the homes that we have in our inventory. They can also find a home in Salt Lake City that they like, that they've qualified for, and we can help them fix those up. Um, they can also uh, buy a home through our Community Land Trust program, and they can buy any home that they see in the Salt Lake City boundaries. And as long as it meets our standards, then they can go ahead and purchase that with our financing. The Community Land Trust program is the city's way of investing in perpetuity into the future. So we own a home in the city and we put that into our land trust and we make that home affordable into the future. And the way that we do that is to allow someone to buy the home at a rate that they can afford. And then we keep the land as part of the city's inventory and they would lease the land from us. So they own the home and all the improvements, but the land itself belongs to Salt Lake City. And that makes the home price more affordable for them because they don't need to worry about carrying the land cost as well. So I wanna make it easy for people to participate and take part in these really great programs. So there is an online application or they can stop by the city county building and pick up the paper application. It's generally a one-sheeter. And so they give us their basic information. Um, we also require income information for all of the adults living in the home. So basically pay stubs, profit and loss statements. And then we also require their taxes. Um, if you go online and look at what we offer, it's a really easy seven step process. So you pick up your application, we you submit all your paperwork that's required, um, you talk to me generally about what we can offer you and how we can help you. You meet with our rehab specialists and they take care of all of the work needed with the contractor. So they're really a go-between and someone to hold their hand while we get the bids and while we get the information we need to repair a home. And then I do all of the paperwork from there and then just notify the homeowner um, what next steps they need to prepare for, like a closing date and 
for scheduling of work to be done on the house. So we try to keep it as easy as possible. There's help there along the way, like our rehab specialist who works with the contractors, myself who does all of the paperwork um, and makes sure that the, the loan is actually an easy process for them. So for more information about our housing programs, you can visit slcgov.com. And now we go back in time for our History Minute. Tony Lazeri was one of the batters on the New York Yankees' infamous Murderer's Row alongside Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. He joined the Yankees in 1926, and he still holds the American League record for RBIs in a single game, and in that same game, was the first player to hit two grand slams in one game. His nickname was Push Em Up Tony, and he got it right here in Salt Lake City, just like his start in baseball. The Italian-American immigrants leading vibrant lives in Salt Lake City were thrilled that Tony Lazeri was breaking records at the ballpark that would come to be known as Dirk's Field for the Salt Lake Bees. They gave him this nickname in a case of missed translation. When they chanted, push him up, they thought they were chiding him to hit it out. Lazeri's best season for the Salt Lake Bees came in 1925, where he was on track to break a record for home runs in a single season, and the thousand Italian immigrants of the city rallied around him. Lazeri hit his 60th home run on the road, earning him a record for the Pacific Coast Minor Leagues that stands today. Then, he signed with the New York Yankees, teasing Babe Ruth over this record for years. Many years later, when Babe Ruth was visiting town, he jokingly demanded to see Bonneville Park, where Lazeri hit all those home runs. When he saw how small it was, he remarked to the reporter, Well, I'll be doggone. If that guy couldn't hit more than 60 home runs in this cracker box, he better not blow up at me anymore and wait till I see this push him up Tony guy. Tony Lazeri was posthumously inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown in 1991. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Capital City News. Join us next time to stay up to date on all the latest. September in Salt Lake City is filled with community fairs, street festivals, and all kinds of activities. If you want to learn more, visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SLCGov, or you can follow us on Nextdoor. For SLC TV, I'm signing off from Pierpont Avenue.